stopped at the local feed store, Mac Ranch Supply, and picked up a bottle of Atraban. Uh, we're on our way out to uh, check on the cows. And this summer has been exceptionally bad for for flies, and so you mix the Atraban with diesel fuel, and put the diesel fuel on a back rubber, and you know, the cows come in and get some relief from the flies by rubbing on those back rubbers and the Atraban to kill the flies. We've had an exceptionally wet year uh, for this part of the world. Is you know, having a wet year is uh, pretty rare. It takes a lot of rain to make a ranch complain. My dad always said it's been a lot more of his lifetime waiting for it to get wet than he ever did wait for it to get dry. <laughs> Typically, we'll check cows about once a week. It's kind of a tradition. Dad always check them Sunday morning. We'd make around, go around, check cows, and check for herd health and grass conditions. That's not been a problem this year. And also, we you know we turn bulls out about the middle of June, and so you want to check your bulls, and make sure they're still in good condition, and make sure they're still in the pasture. A lot of times, the bulls. You have neighbors that have better looking cows than you do, then you both might leave. We're in the heart of haying out. It's kind of good to get the bales off the field and stacked up, so the good chance we'll have some good second cutting this year. So I like to get out as soon as I can and get the bales stacked up and off the field. big part of what I do is building Brandon irons. Kind of a hobby that turned into something kind of a lucrative hobby, I guess. So I, I build about, oh, I think I build about seven, 800 branding irons a year. I always tell people jokingly that when I get in trouble with my wife, I come out to the shop and build branding irons. Unfortunately, I build a lot of branding irons. <laughs> I use stainless steel. That was kind of the niche. Hold their properties a lot better than than other types of iron, and so kind of developed the system. When I was in the army, welding was my MOS, and uh, so when I came back from the army, I went to work for a welding shop uh, down at Any, and uh, learned a lot of really good technique from Mard Mod, who was the owner of the welding shop. One of the things that makes a good branding iron that a lot of people don't realize is taking the sharp edges off but before you even start around all the faces off and then take the corners off. So from there, to finish it, I just weld a brace on it and then a handle, handle on top of that. Totally dissimilar to being in the legislature. You know, we're full time during the legislature, and the rest of the year I have a lot more time to do the ranching. And now, as lieutenant governor, we're in here for a couple months, and then we live with the laws that we pass for the rest of the year. And I think our governor kind of wanted the same for me to know what uh, what we've inflicted on our citizenry, and I think it's been a good setup. It's always nice to come home to a, your own house and have coffee and reflect on the day's work. Especially now, you know, I think it's just a huge privilege to, to be able to serve the state of South Dakota and continue on the ranch. I think I've, I've got the best of both worlds, and so that's been a great privilege for me. Well, I'm Larry Roden, and this has been a day in the life of Larry Roden, a farmer, rancher, and lieutenant governor of the state of South Dakota.